I came through here with my, ex, my HF quill last year when the ground was really wet. When I was first learning the dais, and I had in deep full tones a lot when I first started, because I wanted to go deep with the, with the dais, and it's just, the hot program just does it, man, right? It pinpoints targets so much faster, right? The hot program than a deep full tone program. So cool. Big rock right there. It's a penny. Right next to a hot rock. Oh, we got a penny. This ground is super hot, man. These rocks mess me up really bad. Mm -hmm. It's hard to hear the tones come out, especially in deep full tones. The hot program works a lot better in this hot soil here. I can't hear my tones, man. It's a bottle cap right here, I think. It's just so hard to hear. A lot of ambient noise in this part. It sounds like iron. But I'll dig it out anyway. The ground is really dry iron. Going to rainbow one day. Public bottle cap. Oh man. Oh, it's deep. It's some deep iron, I think. Oh man. No, I'm not gonna go for it. How come it's a penny deep. be with this? Huh? How come like a dime or a penny could be it so deep? People drop a lot of coins. Uh, it's, it's iron. I'm gonna pinpoint that again, just to make sure I wasn't off just by an inch or so. Yeah, I was. It's a bottle cap right there. This ground is so freaking hot, man. Bottle cap right there. Bottle cap. Yeah. Just as I thought, my original impression on that target. Huh? Yeah. That might suck. If you go too fast, it'll break the, ch the chain will fall off. That's spoil. This ground is so hot during the winter time. Bottle cap. Or a big piece of iron, nail, something long. Sounds foily, but it could be some gold. Right. I haven't really dug a lot of low tones in this park. Oh man, just lost freaking connection again. Come on, dance. Come on, baby. It's probably some foil, yeah. Just a little bit of foil right on the surface. Oh, it's so hot here. Oil, maybe a nickel or something, I don't know. It just sounds junky. Oh man, it is rooty right here. Oh 
Oh man, this to be a tough target to get out. Hope this in the plug. Where are you guys going? Oh man, these woods are bad here. We're going to buy out the place. Okay. Okay. I hope you make the, the video because you want to see us. Yeah. Oh, man. This is brutal right here. Hot ground. Hot ground and roots and hot rocks. And... Oh, man. Is it a hot rock down there? Or is it something really freaking good? I see a coin ball. It's right there. It's a coin ball. Is it a nickel? It's gotta be a nickel, man. It's reading so low. But you never can tell with these, these, um, yes, a nickel. Oh, I scratched the crap out of it too, man. Oh. Yeah, it's a nickel. I'm gonna test it out again too. Can't point that again. It's a nickel. When the ground is wet on top and it's dry on the bottom, a lot of detectors struggle, including the dais too. But in hop program, I, I can really get a lot more out of the ground, right? If I'm in deep program and I wanna go for deep stuff, in this soil, it just doesn't work, right? Hop program performs much better, right? Junky, junky target here. Could be another nickel one too. Oh man, Rudy, bad Rudy right here. Oh, this big tree. Those roots really spread out a long ways. Oh, just made a mess right there. Just made a mess. Okay, let's see what we got here. Right there. It's uh, some wire here. It looks like uh, some wire, the end of a end of a wire cluster for an outlet because it was bent over like a hook. Oh, this is a nice one right here. It sounds irony though. This soil is so hot, I just get iron tones on every target. So I just never know what I'm about to dig up. It could be a bottle cap, could be a coin, right? It's just, the ground is so hot here. So I'm testing out this coil here in wetter ground, the X35. I tried it last year mainly with the deep full tones program that I was using um, when I first used the dais. Cause I, I was under the impression that the dais would go a lot deeper than it does, but it doesn't, you know. The dais does go deep, you know, but not in my soil, right? So I'm just, I've been using the dais to get some shallower targets out and I've had some really good results from it. Very good results. If I wanted to go deep, I would use a simplex, right? I use different machines for different purposes, so. Right. So I've already dug quite a few holes in this area, so I think I'll, I think I'll skip up this area here, right? I'll just, just skip up this area because I've dug so many holes here, right? I want to wait until this grass gets a little bit greener here. big piece of foil here right there it's full fab right on the surface right there I'm in 17 kilohertz hot program Some foil we'll pick it up The last time I came through here, I was really struggling because this soil is so freaking really hot right here. You can see that red dirt. It's 
some junk here. Kind of sounds like a nickel. Oh boy. Oh man, these roots are bad. I'm gonna see if I can get it. See, that's how hot the soil is. My pinpointer um, falls on the soil here. Right? See, look at how red the soil is. Where the heck does target go now? I was a little bit off here. Oh man, this stuff is nasty. Right there? No. All right in there. Is that a coin ball right there? It looks like it. Nope, it's not. I think it's half a coin ball. It might be a nickel. Oh boy, that's right there. It's a pull tab right there. See this hot soil, man, this clay. But this, the X35 is performing a lot better in wet ground in hot program than the deep program. Now, I struggled. I struggled a lot with this coil at first because I was using it in the wrong mode, you know, in my soil, in my soil conditions. You know, I've, I know that this X35 coil will hit on coins deeper. And um, if I'm going for jewelry or some gold, um, or smaller targets, I'll use my nine inch round coil. But if I'm trying to hit deeper targets, um, this X35 coil does go a lot deeper. But I don't have to have it in deep full tones program. I can just use the hot program and it does just as good um, um, in my soil here. Because if I, try to, uh, if I try to get too much out of the machine, I'll just struggle. Um, just hit on some shallower targets at first and begin to learn this coil all over again because I was tr just trying to overpower the machine um, using it in deep mode when I first used it but you know it works really good in the dry soil but um, th the soil can go deep in the dry soil but I just can't get to my targets so you know I'm, I'm gonna test this this x35 coil out here just in hot program because I really haven't used it a lot um, in the hot program. I didn't really give it a chance in the hot program. You know, I was trying to go deep and now that I know the day is a little bit more, I can listen to those tones that are more quality tones um, with the X35 coil trying to hit on those deeper targets. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.